Hello everyone, hope you're doing well, having a great day so far. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. As always, all the today's stories will be time marked down below in the description. Let's hop into our first story though, and I am very excited to tell you all apparently about some, some leaked roster changes coming soon. Of course, we talked before the major and throughout it, apparently a French shuffle coming to the scene soon. And of course, after many majors, a lot of teams do shuffle their rosters. This time I'm being a bit more special because after every other major, we have ESL Pro League starting. This being ESL Pro League Season 7, which will start in two weeks. So a lot of teams are trying to solidify those rosters and have to almost find they have to finalize those rosters and turn those rosters into ESL so if they don't leak it themselves they don't finalize them or announce themselves of course ESL, ESL is going to release those rosters anyway so that's where we're going to have a lot of teams out here actually finalizing rosters in the next two weeks now one of them apparently going to be Envious I'll link to Kay's article down below and of course we talked about the French shuffle coming soon no one was really sure who was going to be involved although Kiyoshima was at the tip of the tongue people thought RPK as well maybe existence coming back into play although I, I highly doubt that I think he's kind of solidified his spot on the LDLC roster roster but on top of that apparently according to Decay guys we will see a new formation of the MVS roster with XMS leaving and a place of him will of course be Kiyoshima so I cannot wait we also had Kiyoshima tweeting out things like this though it was a G2 kind of a troll post and of course people responding yeah we missed you brother I think it was of course a troll post though I don't think G2 is going to be making any significant changes here uh, anytime soon that being said they did make a quarterfinal of the major I think that's going to hold them off from roster changes anytime soon they'll try and make it throughout ESO Pro League but I could be wrong we could see Kiyoshima somehow replace someone in G2's roster but I think for right now it's pretty certain that we do have an envious shuffle coming in and XMS being one of the weaker links he will be replaced by Kiyoshima and I'm very excited to see so no matter what guys no matter what happens before ESL Pro League season 7 starts Kiyoshima will join a roster it will either be envious or it will be G2 that's pretty much confirmed and we'll see what happens though I did think he was trolling on, on Twitter but we'll actually make sure to re-announce that when it is fully confirmed on top of that and very big news also we have the new major has been announced at least who's gonna be the organizer for that and will it be a Face It Major? Now, we have never seen a Face It Major before. Face It own themselves. So I was actually questioning the community as well. Does anyone own Face It? Is it ESL or is it Starletter? Does anyone own them? No, it's actually a Face It dedicated major and Valve actually gave them itself. So I'm not really sure if this goes hands in hand, uh, hand in hand with, of course, a, co a cooperation or a business opportunity for them. But Valve have actually allocated the next major to go to Face It. They'd have to place a bid or, or not that I'm aware of because, of course, other organizations out there can pay a lot of money. So Face It will be our next major holder and that could mean a lot of new things for the sticker market. I'm very excited to see some Face It stickers and how well they do and finally a new organizer out there means that brand new stickers, all brand new stickers a formulation or a kind of a, a graphic we've never seen before so I'm very pumped for that guys. As of right now we don't know the, the set schedule but of course it will be probably any time during the summer will be the next major we do see. So that does mean ESL 1 Cologne for all of you guys who are questioning will, will that be a major? Most likely it will not be. Face It should be our next major guys and that's very exciting news. And it's almost kind of a nice rare we also have a few teams out there who actually managed to announce their roster changes before anyone else does where the team announces it first and that was with Team North. A thing I did not really see coming as well. We have one of their longer term members, Cajun B, and of course their opera has now been replaced by a North Academy member. So of course it does make sense to keep it in house, but it will be a academy member known as Mertz. He's only 20 years old to replace him for opping and I imagine they're going to probably test him out for the first few weeks of ESL Pro League. If you do look at the past few maps for North in the past month or so, statistically speaking, Cajun B has, has been one of their worst performers, but all being said, you know, all being said and done, he's still one of a one of the more consistent players as well. So I'm not really sure if there's more of an attitudinal approach to this in their in their actual piece. They don't talk about this whatsoever. So Mertz, the younger star, is now uh, actually uh, taking over the opting role for Team North, and we'll see how they do in ESL Pro League and if he'll actually bounce back. As of right now, we have pro players saying good luck, Cajun B, in the future. But apparently, according to North's post, they did say he's on the bench for now. So two conflicting views there. He could still be on the bench and could still play for North. Other pro players seem to think though he is off the roster for good. We'll see what happens in the future with that. And also in very big news for all you Optic fans out there, we do have apparently some roster changes coming their way, but it will be for their coaching role. Now again, thanks to Decay News out there, Decay doing a great job reporting. I can't confirm this is definitely true. I had a source reach out to me a long, long time ago when Russian Tark first actually left Optic Gaming. I'm a Pet was going to leave back then as well. He was going to be kicked back then, but he actually was hung on to. So apparently I'm a Pet, the former CLG coach, and of course the current Optic coach is looking to move on for some other organizations. He tweeted out this as well, so it does seem that the actual rumor might be correct guys, Optic Gaming might be changing their coach, which could also mean other changes coming soon. Oftentimes it does kind of correlate to actually have a coaching change with a player change. And again, like I said previously, when Russian Tark first left Optic for Cloud9, they were going to change their coaching role as well. But apparently I'm a pet somehow held on to that role. So we're going to see what happens with Optic Gaming sometime soon. I do expect changes, but again, ESL Pro League is right around the corner and they will still actually be moving to the European side of Pro League. So it's going to be a lot, some cautious times, some very tentative times for Optic Gaming. And we're going to see how they perform if they do stick it out 
out with that roster. Now, on top of that, before we get into our last story about Sabroza and his, apparently his new team out there, which is going to shock you guys, I do want to talk about my favorite Bulgarian team coming back to the scene. Leave a comment down below if you guys are from B Bulgaria. The only Bulgarian CSGO team I've ever followed in my entire life was actually Mortal Kombat. Back in the day, they had Bubble, they had Victor, they had Spy Leader. They were doing quite well at the time, but apparently they, they eventually did disband, though, uh, due to lack of funding, just lack of uh, you know coordination between the team. But Spy Leader is still leading that team, and apparently a brand new Mortal Kombat team and roster has been announced. I'll link it on screen for all of you, and I still wonder to this day how this team can play under the name Mortal Kombat without any kind of copyright issues. But yeah, moving on to our last story as well. We do have an inside source. Thanks to the guy who jammed this to me as well. It can be confirmed. Apparently, Sabrosa's new team will be Ghost Gaming. And that partial roster does still have three of their foreign players. Their foreign players actually managed to qualify for the next season of ESL Pro League just through relegation matches, and they actually beat the old Rogue Gaming roster. So that's going to be Seb. I think it's also Wardell and Connor, the three main players who carried over that ESL Pro League spot. And they will be joined by Sabrosa and one other person they did call Stan. As of right now, the inside source, it's not Stanislaw, guys, but it's some other player out there called Stan. So maybe you guys know him. That will be the new Ghost Gaming roster, and they will have a spot in the next season of ESL Pro League in two weeks' time. And it's kind of cool to see Sabrosa, of course, eventually leaving CLG. He is now back on Ghost Gaming, guys, and they will have a spot in the next season of Pro League. And yes, that old roster still did best Rogue Gaming, but it's now two brand new rosters, a brand new Ghost Gaming and a brand new Rogue. It's kind of ironic as well. If you guys uh, listen to my other videos on top of that, we did have these two former teams face off. It was Ghost Gaming who 2 0 Rogue, and ever since then, actually one of Ghost Gaming's players, his name was Rix. If you guys recognize that name, he is out now currently on Team Rogue. So I, I do kind of look forward to these rosters, as well as we've seen both these teams perform last season, and they can only go up from there because they were both relegation teams. So I'm very, very excited to see how these teams do, and I told you guys last video, or a couple videos ago, I'm very excited to see how Hiko's new team does with Sick and Rix. It's definitely a dominant roster alongside Kadian, and we'll see if they do any better than they did last season. So I have some other updates coming for you guys in the next episode. I got to kind of clarify what's going to happen with those, and I do apologize that first story today was actually a FlickShot article done by FlickShot. That'll be linked down below. It was not Decay who leaked that. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. As always, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I will see you guys on a couple days with some great CSGO news. If you guys did enjoy, leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for that, and uh, goodbye.